When it comes to movie box office, Harold Lloyd was big man on campus. Harold sold more tickets during the 1920s than any other comedian and was a top earning movie star for years. The Freshman was Lloyd's biggest hit and the second most successful comedy of the entire silent film era. Harold epitomized the Roaring Twenties. He was fun, optimistic, and his boundless enthusiasm reflected the nation's self-image. College enrollment soared after World War I, nearly doubling during the 1920s, while a new style of red-blooded sports journalism and the advent of radio and live game broadcasts turned college football into a national obsession. Lloyd knew what audiences wanted. With his winning personality, leading man looks, and team of clever gag writers, he was the perfect comedy star to bring the college craze to the big screen. Lloyd announced in March 1925 that his new football movie would be entitled Raw, Raw, Raw. That name turned out to be taken, however, and by July, he wisely renamed it The Freshman. It was his final movie released by Pathé before Lloyd moved to Paramount. The movie premiered August 27 at Sid Grauman's Million Dollar Theater, still standing in downtown Los Angeles, where it was an immediate hit, becoming the third biggest release of 1925. 